I made an add-on to the Galileo clock, a face and some hands. This picture is what inspired me to build the clock I'm showing you today. Hey guys, welcome back, Shock here. So I added a face and hands to my Galileo escapement clock. I'm going to show you how I made it. It's just an add-on if you already made one. Files will be available soon. I just need to do some tweaking. If you ever go to the Galileo Museum in Florence, you can see this clock. It's one of the very first fully functional clock based on Galileo original design. I can show you those pictures, courtesy of the the Galileo Museum. I'll put the link in the description below where you can find them. So let's see the heights made. Here are the parts that are going to be needed. A couple shafts, longer shafts, bracket, gears, hands, and uh, Last version of the clock. I'm going to start with those parts. I'm going to use the bracket to guide, make sure it's square, and then take a hammer. Put a washer. This will come here. Make sure it spins. And then this one will come on the back here. it's flat, square. You want to keep a little bit of lat lateral motion, movement. Okay. Now we need to install those longer shafts. The longer one will come in the middle and the two a little bit shorter one come up here and here. I want to show you one more thing. If you already build this clock, you'll notice there's an extra little gear. There's a square and that gear comes here. Now the bracket. That will be the minute gear. It's the spin. I'm going to put another washer here. It's not long enough. <laughs> I had to do a longer shaft here. Okay, the hands just come and then this simply comes on here and then the face there's two mounting brackets at the back install the face behind the hands And here you go, a Galileo clock with a face and hands. This is the side view, you can see the gears. Now we can check how long it's going to run. Okay, I'm going to rewind. Oh, the, the gear is loose on the shaft doesn't work. So I have to do manually like this. Hmm. Still works. I'm going to rewind until 
there. It almost touches the top over there. That's the maximum I can do. The middle shaft is turning with the middle gear on the back, that's why there's that back and forth motion a bit. And it died. 16 minutes. There is a little bit of tension in the spring left. Let's see. So one week later, my spring-driven Galileo clock did run 16 minutes. It's still working, so it's good. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.